Hello everyone, I am Catechus, and today we will be continuing our guided walkthrough for Legend of Mana. Last episode, we helped some goofballs and might have been an accomplice in a kidnapping attempt. Thanks, Nicolo. In this episode, we will continue to help two goofballs and go sailing. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Also, if I sound weird, you can thank allergies because they've been kicking my butt for quite a while and I'm totally sick of this already. They can stop. Anytime. Yeah, back in our room. Alright, let's get this started. Capella and Diddle get into some weird shenanigans and this might be one of the weirdest ones of them all. Alright, so for our first quest, it's going to be called Diddle Had It. He done did had it there. And for this one, we're going to want to head outside and over to Lumina if the children will stop grabbing me. Okay. Oh, hey. No, we didn't get stopped by him. Fantastic. So because we did the first quest with Diddle and Capella, they actually moved to Lumina. I don't know. Drum up service. So let's head there. And those two are actually in the bar on the left here. Yeah, there's the music. And as always, just um, talk to Diddle, the one with all the problems. Mer. All right, now Capella. I'm Capella, the best juggler of the land. Check this out. We met. Hey, Diddle. Mer. All right, they already forgot us. Fantastic. Memory of a goldfish. Let's head on out of the area and back in. I don't know why I'm making him sound like a Minecraft villager. Maybe that upset him because he just walked away. Man, there he goes again. Well, that starts Diddle had it. Done diddly do. All right, like usual, ask Capella what his problem is. Well, none of my business. What a great friend. Guess it's our problem. All right, whatever makes you feel better. We're gonna he we're gonna head out because this one's kind of weird. We actually have to leave Lumina. We're going to head back home. Luckily, it's close by. All right, now that we're at home, we're going to head on in. Do a couple circles, head on out. I don't know. You don't have to do the circles. I just think it's fun. Back out to the world map. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, those are Shadol's. What are they doing? Nothing good. Yeah, literally nothing good. So head back into Lumina. Time to investigate. Alright, let's head into the bar area. Oh, Diddle. Why does he always do this to me? I know, I know. I'll go look for him. And hey, you better. If I suffer, you suffer. All right, let's follow the dingus. Oh, he's on the world. Oh, no. That can't be good. Diddle, run! Why are you just standing there? Run! In whatever contraption you're in. Diddle! Diddle, no! Yeah, Diddle gone. Well, that sucks. All right, Let, we got to keep following them if we want to save these guys. Now, if we know one thing, it's where um, Shadol's live, the underworld. So let's head on in there. Maybe we'll run into Lark and the Emperor. Maybe we won't. Don't get your hopes up. They're not here. There's that tombstone. Aw, oh, crap. Diddle's waiting. Straight to the bottom of the underworld with you. We got, we got teleported. Man. This is the bottom of the underworld. Yeah. Welcome. They say the dead come here to rest, but it's really meant for souls who cling to life. As long as you still feel happiness or sorrow, you must avoid the shadows. 
If they sense any emotions, they will try to drag you to the depths of this place. All right, so step one, do not talk to Pokeel. Uh, sometimes it gets buggy and doesn't let you finish the quest. All right, can't talk to the Shadol, so what we want to do is just head left. And we just want to keep going left. Do not touch the uh, Shadols, okay? They will teleport you back to the start. Ah, oh, God, they're doing the weird walking formations. Just keep bypassing them. The first two are easy because they're visible. The next time we meet them is going to be a little more challenging. Now, once you get here, just head to the left a little bit. Fight a little bit of mobs here. They're not too tough. And we'll get this quest over with. All right, we got one more hallway here. Ooh, the night boys. <laughs> Three stabs. <laughs> All right, now in the next room, the sh oh, oh, we got some dragons. Hey, I don't know if you want to farm dragon materials, you can try to fight these guys for eternity. <laughs> dragon breath. Not a bad drop. I will definitely hold on to that. Now, be careful. The next two rooms that we have, we're going to have to avoid Shadows, but they'll go invisible, and it's super freaking annoying. So look out. All right. Yeah, so some vanished. Yep. And then they repeat like that. So good luck getting past. Let's see if we can do it. Ah, we did it. We, I just hung the top. I got lucky. <laughs> Okay, this one is going to be more annoying because they're going to stay where they were and we just got to remember the stupid pattern they were in and that got us out. Fantastic. Hard parts over. Come on, Diddle. Let's go back to the surface. I miss the sun. No, nothing is fun out there. You always have fun and people have fun watching you, but I don't. Wow, you're kind of a jerk. <laughs> you're sounding like a good Shadol to be. Yeah, you know what? You can have them. This is getting tiring. I don't always smile because I'm having fun, you know. Then why do you always have a smile on your face, hmm? That, that's for me to decide. You just say things without thinking. Yeah, he does. You've got that wrong, Diddle. Stop it. Why are you smiling again? Well, this is actually kind of funny. Nothing's funny. There's nothing good about life. You get hurt, have fights, and too many goodbyes. Watching your shows doesn't make anything better. And I don't like it when people laugh while you juggle. I almost thought that said jiggle. Heh he 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 he. Can I just leave? You can have both of them. Alright, I get it. I hear you, Diddle. Do you, though? This world is full of foreign stuff and nasty things, but I still like living here. Why don't you come back up once I make the world a better place? So, uh, take care until then, I guess? I'll be waiting for you up top. Ha! You can't go back after we've taken you in. Once you become a Shadol, you can never turn to your original form. Oh, Capella, I won't turn into a Shadol. I'll stay just like this, so don't worry about me. Hee 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 hee. Did you hear that? He's not going to turn into a Shadol. Yeah, right. Are we ever going to have fun with this one? Uh, no. He, he has nothing fun in him at all. Come on, Diddle. Say goodbye to those Shadols. If you come with me now, I promise I won't laugh or even smile. Wait, where'd the music go? Oh, great. The fanfare. Hey, Diddle, was it? I'll let you in on a secret. All you need to do is run. If you make it up there, you'll be free from us. Okay, uh, you know he doesn't really have legs, right? But if you don't make it, then the monster's gonna gobble you up. What? The Earth be quaking? Of course, no one has ever made it out alive. Enter, uh, you know, air quotes boss fight. As you can see, it's just an ape mummy who is level 42. Look at them chunks. All right, bring it on. <laughs> this attack is definitely growing on me and <laughs> becoming one of my favorites. I'm starting to appreciate it. Oh, it didn't kill him. 
Appreciation gone. Ooh, a level. Easy peasy. Hey, we didn't have to leave on our own. Yeah, um, there you go. Diddle's, um, a tadpole. Ah, oh, Capella, look. Hey, welcome back. Diddle almost went back to get you. No, he didn't. Don't lie. He should have trusted you like I do. Ha 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 ha. Hey, Capella. Can we stay and watch the stars a little while longer? Uh, sure. But just a little. How come? Because I'm so happy if we stay too long, I might smile. And then I'd break my promise. It's okay. You can smile. Stars spin as they fall when you're trying to catch your breath. What? What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, what? <laughs> it's a secret. Ha! You sure are one strange guy. No, you're both dumb. Get it right. There we go. Diddle had it. Diddly done. Ah, we just gotta go home. I remember where it is. There we go. Because I don't want to do these quests again. <laughs> God darn trophies. Hey, freeloaders and everyone else, I'm home. Alright, out of my way. Hey, Cactus, I got a weird one for you. Shadoli bees. Uh, sure. Whatever makes you happy, bud. <laughs> Alright, now the next quest for this episode is going to be called The Quiet Sea, and it's going to require us to go to the SS Buccaneer. So let's go do that. Oh, pirate ship where you be. Now this one's kind of weird, and it, you can't really start it unless you know it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but what we're going to want to do is almost go to the captain's quarter, which hopefully by now you know the way. Just got to make our way over to the, one of the side decks and in this door here. Now, the captain is in the top door, but what we want is one of the two bottom doors. This will take us to the uh, guy who actually steers the ship. Now, when we talk to him, we can actually choose a destination. Ah, uh, ain't nothing beats him being a man o' the sea. Arr, he be chumpy, I. Uh, yeah. Which direction do you want to go? So... We want to specifically put in uh, a, a certain path here. And what we want to do is go to the south. Ain't it great? The sea provides all the food you could ever need. Now we want to go to the east. Yep, yep, yep. And east one more time. Shiver me timbers. The wind stopped blowing. And we're stranded. On the quiet sea has started. Without wind, the ship can't move. Go fish or something. All right. So now that we've stopped, we want to go back where we entered the entire area. So head out here, pick the right door, and run right. <laughs> Super easy. Up these stairs, and we can continue. Look at that new penguin. He be fishing. There be no wind, and that be good for fishing. Okay, did you catch anything? No? Great. Just head out, and then head right back in. And look at that, he moved. It's like he's a weeping angel from Doctor Who. I fished up this here bottle, but the stopper shut tight. Okay, uh, do you need help with that? You good? <laughs> hey, you got it. Oh no. What the heck is that? That is horrifying. What a beautiful ship. I like it. Uh, why are you shaking? Ah! Yeah, he'll run away. 
So what we want to do now is go talk to the captain. <laughs> Since he's a real man of the sea, maybe he'll be able to fix this, right? Just keep heading left in the door, close to where we found the wheelhouse. Uh, yeah, there's the thing, and all the penguins are just down and out. Head in, talk to the captain. We gotta put that ghost back into the bottle and return him to the sea. But you'll have to find the bottle first. Great. Fetch quest. My favorite. Now, it's really easy to find the bottle. Just head back out into here. Take the right path. Head down the stairs to your right. Enter the left door here. Down the stairs. And you should see a weird freaking barrel, right? There's no pootie in it this time. There's a penguin. Don't come over here. Leave me alone. Uh, there's a pretty girl out here. A pretty girl. Just back from the beach, maybe? <laughs> Whatever you gotta tell yourself, bud. Now go talk to it again. Oh, here you go. It's a bottle the ghost came out of. There we go. We got the bottle. Fantastic. Now we just gotta head back up to the upper deck. I love that the penguins are still on the floor just twitching. Just keep going up. <laughs> What, what do you want? This way, hurry! Okay, there we go. It's boss fighting time. Because um, this ghost ain't going in the bottle without a fight. And this guy should look familiar. This is the same sprite that the uh, Jin had. And he has roughly the same moves, so be careful. If his hair spike there touches you, he's going to suck life out of you and heal himself. Super annoying. And when he starts spinning like this, just back away. Easy to miss. <laughs> now he is kind of high, so pokey attacks ain't really going to hit him. You're going to have to go with vertical slashes. But in the end, this is a pretty easy fight. It just takes time. Slash, slash. Oh, I poked. Slash. Ah, he's going to do a thing. I'm not entirely sure why the penguins were so scared of this guy. He's pretty easy to fight. Not even going to use a special. Now get in the bottle. And give me a level. Aw, no level. Well done. You're a real man of the sea. Captain, um, that's a girl. <laughs> Here. It ain't much, but I want you to have this. Okay, so we get some iron, and shockingly enough, the crab comes with it. So there we go. Quiet sea, done. Now we gotta go home and talk to our cactus and check out the extra prize we get. So if you ever thought the homestead is getting a little overcrowded, wait till you see the new thing we have to take care of. So if we head into the library, yeah, I wasn't joking. The crab came lit with and he lives in our library. And if we touch him, he breaks, <laughs> but he's not dead permanently. You can just leave and come back in and I don't know, he reassembles himself or something. Weird fun thing. We'll get more by the way. Anyway, let's go talk to that cactus. Hey, buddy. Another weird one. See a ghost. Yep. Yeah, we did. All right. But with that, I think this is where we're going to call it quits for this episode. This has been part 29 of our Legend of Mana guided walkthrough where we helped two idiots and defeated a ghost. Stay tuned for the next episode as we help two other idiots, the old Hampson and Skippy. If you liked the episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.